Welcome back guys, Automotive Bank here. If you are new to the channel, please look over in the corner, smash the subscribe button at the end of the video, give me a like. Today we're gonna talk about properly charging a low or dead battery on basically any new product. This is gonna be specific to the Ford F-150, but it's gonna be similar to other vehicles. So about a week ago, I was doing a bunch of stuff for scan on the F-150 and uh, I had to leave the ignition on and I kind of drained the battery so the truck kind of went into this depleted mode on the main screen it said battery is set to reserve to um, you know retain battery to charge it so then I took it out drove it it just wasn't quite enough because I didn't drive it long enough so I reverted back to my handy dandy battery charger now if you're going to jump the vehicle you can jump it this way so if you're jumping it in emergency so you're gonna hook your positive to your um, positive terminal here and then you can put your negative right on the negative post here and jump the vehicle now if you're gonna you're using your vehicle to jump the other um, always do the positive to the positive first and then you'll come in and do your negative to the other vehicle and then your negative here but a handful of years ago um, they started putting these battery management systems hoping to retain enough battery to start the vehicle so if you look at any of your batteries on your vehicles and you have a box that looks similar to this this is the battery management system BMS whatever the hell they acronym each manufacturer uh, says it's for and so what will happen is if you come over with your battery charger and you come in and hook it up to your standard terminal right here anywhere on here and then you hook your negative terminal right here to your negative what will happen is you can leave this battery charger on here for hours and it'll probably still say a low voltage and it might be seeming like it's taking forever to charge if you have one of these the actual negative terminal needs to be on the opposite side of this post so that it way it'll charge much quicker. It'll tell the vehicle that you are charging the battery and that it's not trying to shut it down to maintain battery voltage. Now, you can hook the positive terminal to wherever you can get it. If you have small gator clips like this, it might be hard to get on that post. Now, if you're going to remove the battery itself and charge it, you'll charge the battery just as you would um, hooking it up to the post. But if you're gonna charge in the vehicle, which there's nothing wrong doing that, then you can take your gator clip on your positive terminal and you can hook it anywhere on the back side of this that you can get to, okay? Now, on this, and again, this will be the same. If you see any type of box like this near your battery connection, then you can use any negative ground that you want or you can be on the back side of it, meaning you can clip your clip to here and it'll charge. In this instance, we have an auxiliary ground coming off here and going to the body or the frame, the engine or whatever. So that's where you would hook it on your F-150 is you, I chose to hook it over here. Now by doing that, um, the battery was charged in 20 minutes. Now granted, it had charged for almost over an hour and a half and was still at like 63%. Um, that was the actual battery itself. Management system telling it that it's not being charged. So we go on the opposite side of that or the lead into that. If you're just gonna go here, it's gonna go through the battery management system as you can see right here. It goes through that and then up to here. So you could even hook it here, here, wherever you can get it. Always remember to uh, make sure you pick on your charger if it has multiple selections what kind of battery we have here we have an acid glass mat battery um, you might have a maintenance free battery you could have several different options you could have a gel battery now typically in a newer vehicle you're going to have an agm battery but that's not always the case you might have a somebody might have swapped it out it might have a standard battery in it the ones you see with the caps that need to have water maintenance done to them so then when you come over to your charger and you get all that hooked up i guarantee you this is going to charge about 10 times faster than it would if you tried to just hook it to that post. And matter of fact, I'm not even for sure if you'll get 100% charge on that going through that um, with that battery management system happening. So again, hope that that helps guys. Again, this should work on any F-150. I think after 2012, they started uh, doing this. And again, it's going to be just about any vehicle out there. I think Chevy's had, um, what do they call it? BAC, battery retain accessory or something like that. Um, or bar or something like that. I don't know. Lots of different acronyms, but uh, they've had it for around for a while. So just hook it up that way, charge it guys, and you should be good to go. Guys, we'll catch you on the next one.